The Human Dignity Clinic is one of the three clinics at the JSW School of Law. The Human Dignity Clinic is dedicated to a vision that protection, promotion and respect of human dignity must lie at the heart of the legal practice and most certainly at the legal practice in a GNA society. The primary focus of the Human Dignity Clinic will be on the four categories of our vulnerable population here in Bhutan, specifically women, children and young people, persons with disability and the elderly. And this involves providing our clients with legal advice, legal assistance, and in some cases, faculty supervisors and students work with our clients, partnered with CSOs, NGOs, and government entities and institutions to shed light on systemic problems leading to increased vulnerability and promote corresponding legal or policy remedies. In all cases, as you can see, students and faculty work to rehabilitate and reaffirm the human dignity of their clients and cultivate healthier, happier and more cohesive communities consistent with Bhutan's guiding vision of cross-national happiness. After a series of stakeholder meetings and uh, interviews with the PWDs, we have uh, found out that uh, persons with uh, disabilities face some kind of uh, difficulties in accessing justice. And uh, lack of uh, legal information is uh, one of uh, the barriers they face in accessing justice. So in that regard, we have uh, come up with a toolkit uh, in collaboration with the, the Cross-National Happiness Commission, wherein we try to make uh, legal information pertaining to access to justice uh, accessible to them. First of all, I think I'm one of the luckiest being with a person with disability. I got this chance to attend these workshops and all these procedures to draft this uh, advocacy material and the impression that I get from here is I think it's the first step towards uh, legal aid, towards availing legal aid because uh, that advocacy material contains a lot more than just uh, procedures and how to go about to uh, avail this legal aid. Uh, as in, if you are a person with blindness, uh, the legal aid uh, material contains that uh, braille system. And if you are a person with uh, deafness, there, uh, the material will be converted into uh, audiovisual, whereby there will be included sign language and all. So now that this uh, guideline is in place, I think it's really helpful. The main objective of coming up with the legal aid guideline was to provide a clarity on how to provide uh, legal aid to vulnerable women in Bhutan. Uh, our constitution do provide um, the right to our fun, uh, citizens to have their fundamental right to be consulted and represented by a Bhutanese a Japanese of his or her choice, but it do not sort of lay down a guideline to how to go about with the legal aid guideline. There isn't a separate agency uh, uh, pointed out by the government that this agency is going to provide legal aid to the vulnerable people in Bhutan. So with that idea and with that objective that maybe because of this guideline we'll be able to clarify on how to provide legal aid to vulnerable in Bhutan, uh, the Human Dignity Clinic were, was also involved in drafting the legal aid guideline with the technical team which consisted of the representatives from the Office of Attorney General, the representative from the National Commission for Women and Children, Renew and UNTP Lab. Basically, the diversion uh, program handbook uh, that we worked on is particularly for the Najin Lamtin office. So, the uh, Najin Lamtin is uh, a CSO which works for children and they deal with uh, CICL, Children in Conflict with the Law, in uh, providing diversion programs for them. So, this handbook is going to serve as a guide for them while implementing the uh, diversion programs. We thought of developing one uh, common uh, diversion handbook that will guide us that how we provide support to children who are diverted to Najun Lamtin. So in order to develop this, uh, we lack uh, uh, legal expertise, uh, first of all, and, and JSW being the renowned uh, college in Bhutan, we special deal with the legality. So this is how we approach uh, JSW Human Dignity Clinic to uh, come up with an, an, an diversion guideline book. La. This is how we have been working with the JSW for, I think, uh, more than two years now. Uh, 
not all the children who are diverted to us need uh, uh, support in Nepal. Uh, most of them need uh, community service because they have to be in touch with the reality. So they have to be in the community doing uh, social uh, work, uh, volunteer work. So in our country, we like such a uh, community service provider. Despite we have uh, many CSOs and other volunteer groups, but we don't have a uh, link with where we can just send them and uh, give them a, a volunteer service by their particular agency. So JSW was proposing that uh, if we do a community mapping. Following the uh, diversion program handbook for children in conflict with law, we also did a community service mapping. In, um, there are five piloted districts. We are yet to do it four piloted districts. So HTC uh, team will be continuing that uh, in the next semester. But however, we have uh, done it in Thampu and, uh, and included a list in the diversion handbook. When we really deal with our client as a person and as a student, and not as a person who is in a very high post, we uh, get to learn a lot from the personal experiences. It helps us develop ourselves into a better person and into a better uh, service provider. Although joining Human Dignity Clinic has uh, honed my skills starting from drafting to stakeholder consultation, one of the most important realizations that I've had is the necessity of outlook from different perspectives, especially those who have vulnerabilities. There may be processes that potentially impact them and the result definitely, so the responsibility to include them is imperative. And uh, in, in involving, interacting with them, learning from them has enabled me to grow as a person and a professional set to work out in the legal fraternity. Being a part of the Human Dignity Clinic, I think the most important lesson I'll take away with me uh, throughout my professional and personal life uh, is the idea of human dignity itself. I think not just in my uh, professional life where I will have to make uh, important decisions, even in my personal life uh, as I move on in any kind of decisions uh, I'll have to take, I think I'll always keep in mind uh, to be very holistic, very receptive, make sure that all of my decisions are very inclusive and uh, you know uh, be absolutely sure that uh, human dignity is always, uh, you know, the basis of all my decisions.